This is my little goofball Blaze. Hi, Blazy. She's an import that I recently um, got, and she came with the horrible monster that we call Giardia. Um, so this morning I treated her with Secnitazole, which is a one dose treatment. Um, and I went and got this brand new puppy play area from Target. It was about 80 bucks. I have pads down that I got at Costco. Um, I bought a box of them for about $15. Can't remember how many come in the box. Um, so right now I'm waiting for her to poop. And as soon as she poops, I will immediately pick up the poop or actually I'll pick up the whole pad and throw it away. I will then pick her up, take her into the bathroom and give her a bath with Chlorophore shampoo, which is a medicated shampoo. Um, and then I will put her cone back on her. And the reason why I will put the cone on is because she likes to eat her poop. And um, I'm not sure if you all know, but if she eats her poop, she will reinfect herself. And Giardia is a vicious cycle. It will continue on and on and on. Um, lazy. So I'll take the cone off so that she can eat. Um, I also will take the cone off so she can have water. And I will do that numerous times throughout the day. But unfortunately, I cannot just stand here all day long um, and watch her. I tried to do that already, and literally the second that I turn my back or I walk out of the room, that's when she poops and she eats it. And sometimes I think she doesn't like me standing here, because <laughs> literally right now if I turn around, she'll probably poop. I've been standing here for about an hour right now waiting for her to do that. Um, anyhow, I want to take you guys on this journey with me um, of how I get rid of Giardia. I've dealt with it. This is my third time. Um, her brother, I got her brother in January and he too came with Giardia um, and it was a nightmare. So she's never been around my other animals um, and she never will be until she takes about three to four clear ELISA tests and that's E-L-I-S-A and the ELISA test is a fecal test that tests for Giardia and it, it will show if she's even been exposed to them. Um, it shows up positive before the cysts even show up. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the normal fecal test, but to me it's worth it because I know what I'm dealing with. And I, excuse me, I particularly like to know what's going on with all my dogs. Um, I don't think it's okay to sell dogs with Giardia. So, what's going on here guys anyhow um, join my Facebook group it's called Frenchie Academy there's lots of good tips um, there's experienced owners there's experienced breeders in the group um, you're welcome to share photos of your dog dogs puppies um, you can ask questions without being bashed um, we I do not allow any bashing in the group um, I encourage questions I don't believe any question is a dumb question and um, we can all learn together. I too learn new stuff all the time. Um, I found out about Segnitazol um, when I got her brother in January and the vets prescribed the, the normal medication that they always do, which did nothing for my boy. Um, I, believe it be I believe it was because there's a resistant strain of Giardia that comes from overseas and the normal medication that they prescribe doesn't do anything for them. So the Secnitazole literally will wipe Giardia out in one dose, um, but you have to make sure that the environment is clean and that there's no way that the dog can reinfect themselves. So with Blaze in particular, and she's Blaze by the way, um, she likes to eat her poop, and so that's why the cone has got to be on her because if I treat her and she eats her poop, the Giardia cycle starts all over again.